damn it. Jill, Jill! Can you not be so loud in the morning? It's 1.30 in the afternoon, and can you not not fill the ice tray? Why are you yelling? <sighs> because I wanted ice for my water. Is it not cold? That is not the point. <sighs> Your breast is hanging out. Can you put that back, please? Oh, oh you do have a mind of your own, don't you? Right. It really creeps me out when you talk to your boobs. Oh. And you need to pluck. Really bad. Kale bills do jerk. Mm. Why are you trying to stress me out? Stop being such a big baby. Do not talk to me like you're my mother, Jill. If I was going to talk to you like I was your mother, I'd say, You are so perfect. Squeezes. Here's your big fat check. Don't ever worry about growing up, my big perfect baby. Don't you dare make fun of my mother, Jill. Making fun of you. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I just, I, I have a job interview today and I'm really stressed out about it and I gotta get ready really soon. Good luck with that. Thank you. Jill, I need to use the shower first. Jill. <laughs> Come on, Jill, it has been 42 minutes. Taking a shit. Liar. You don't know. I can hear you using my nose hair trimmer. Come on. If I don't get this job, I'm gonna not have rent for next month and I'm gonna have to move in with my mom and then you're gonna have to get a sublet. No sublets, Jack. You look pretty. Thanks. Do you remember when I went and did that Agatha Christie show upstate in that barn? God, how can I forget you were poor man's Michael Caine with that Cockney accent for three weeks getting into character. Uh, not my best work. <laughs> but you got stuck with that sublet girl, that um, that redhead who, <sighs> what was that quote you had about her weight? Uh, Whose pubic hair shed, shed like, like a, a King, King Charles, Charles Spaniel, Spaniel in the, the summer? summer? Right. Her. And, and you said she made the whole apartment smell like rotting passion fruit and Fritos? Yeah, combined. Well, it could happen again. I don't get this job, I move in with my mom, I put an ad on Craigslist, and you know what comes with strangers, Jill? Do not say it, Jack. Bed bugs. Ah! Bed bugs. I will say it. In fact, I'll say it again. Bed bugs. Mm. You will get bed bugs if you don't get out of that goddamn bathroom right now so I can get in there and then go and pretend I want to be a receptionist at a boutique niche marketing firm. God, that sounds so bad. I know. And redundant. I know. Uh, BT Dubs, it's your turn to do the recyclables. Bullshit it is. I did them last month. It's a weekly job, Jack. Uh, well, when you stop eating my cup of noodles on a daily basis, I will start doing the recyclables on a weekly one. Also, you need to dust the living room. And you need to stop buying pillows for the couch because it looks ridiculous. And you need to stop using up all my tampons, you big fat girl. Jill, rude. <sighs> okay, side note, could you maybe learn how to dry a dish? Could you learn the definition of a drying rack? This is such an annoying conversation. I know. Oh, we need a new Brita filter. Oh, we also need paper towels. Oh, we need to talk about The Real Housewives last night. Such a good episode, so good. No, no, I have not seen it. Please do not ruin it. I want to ruin it. Don't, oh, Jack. Please, let me ruin it. Don't ruin it. I want to. I'm going to. I'm going to ruin it unless you get out of the bathroom right now so I can get in there and wash my parts and use my special pommy. <sighs> Just let me finish waxing my chest, no, please. No, bed bugs, Jill. Thank you. <sighs> Don't come home before five, I have a date. I have a date? Yeah, I met this guy online. He's really into feet, so. I'm gonna throw up. We can't all be slime molds, Jack. What does that even mean? Uh, an asexual reproductive organism from the Kingdom Protista family. Oh, okay, I get it. You're smart. You know things. You went to Harvard. I'm just saying, some of us need a good pipe cleaning every once in a while. Oh, you are so vulgar. Oh, give me a break. Don't mount anybody on our couch, please. <clears throat> and try not to get any herpes on your feet. Bye. Bye. Ah, Jill, why is there no hot water? So, Mr. Simon, why do you want to work for our boutique niche marketing firm? I want to work at this boutique niche marketing firm because I like marketing. Tiny marketing. I work for this boutique niche marketing firm because you boutique niche marketing. It. I know. <laughs> Are you going to be wearing kimonos on a daily basis, Mr. Simon? No, this is my roommate's. I borrowed it. Does she put out? She's a slut. Ah, <laughs> excellent. Bring her around. I will. Be late. I gotta get ready. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go. You can't wear that though. You know that. I know. It's so comfortable though.